Dear viewers, as we have started CSS SAP 2000 tutorial series and that is its lesson 5 and in this lecture I am just going to show that how will analysis a simply supported beam with a uniformly distributed load with a varying load and with a point load and also will apply moment okay will apply a moment uh, in our next tutorial or if possible in that tutorial I will try to apply a moment on that simply supported beam and after that I will analyze that okay so in your previous lecture I have just shown you two different types of beam where we have used different type of types of loads to analyze that uh, beam so first of all I'll open our software SAP 2000 version 20 and before starting I'm just requesting you if you are civil engineer and also if you didn't subscribe to our channel then please subscribe to our channel for every new update about civil engineering and also here you will get every types of civil engineering software related tutorial and also civil engineering basic knowledge and also subject wise video so when we are here as uh, already I have shown you in previous two lecture so that's why in this lecture and I'll just go a little bit fast okay so I'll just request to that video playlist link are given in description and uh, I hope you will start from beginning and you will learn CSS app perfectly okay so first of all I'll just simply click mm -hmm. here so here the two option beam we can directly take that option but I'll not take that option I'll take that grid only option okay so um, in our previous two lectures I have just shown you that how we'll take that option grid only so up here I can take that option for advanced work beam so when I click here after that you have to give it the number of okay, number of span so if I come here here the span is 1 and 2 only okay and what is the distance 2 1 and 2 that means 5 meter so if you come here number of span 1 and uh, span length sorry I'll just cancel that because uh, I haven't defined our I'll just again click a new then first of all I have to click here for unit okay so I have to see unit what is the force unit in Newton and the length in meter so I'll just change here Newton meter what is the Newton here is the Newton meter right so I'll select that on Newton meter so you have to select a spray or requirement that I'll come here the number of span that is one span the length is five meter okay and uh, it's okay and the beam is its default you, if you need you can import materials property right so I'll just close that uh, it's okay right now I'll just simply click here okay so when I'll click here okay just see here here the uh, support also this is this is our but here our that axis are at middle so no problem actually there is no problem so I'll just uh, see here here is the say, uh, roller support and here is the in support that means that is a simply supported beam so our support conditional like that so first of all we have to as I uh, we have to draw a beam okay so to draw beam, uh, actually here beam are also drawn or if I uh, double click here so you can see every data here also and also if you need you can change that there's no problem and uh, if I click here for a spacing for spacing it's also can if you need to change that uh, grid system okay that is in middle you can also change that right you can also change that your uh, it is the ordinate so there's the ordinate so if you want to move your ordinate so the grid a and b okay here grid a and b so we can simply um, change that value from i mean our a point will be at zero 
enter p point will be at 5 so it on if a point will be at 0 and b point will be at 5 meter then uh, it's okay then if i click okay just see here it's a moved right it's a moved uh, or that that point and that point have moved but here it's haven't moved so what i'll do here actually i'll just simply control and we can simply delete that okay and see here here is your new line okay that is a new line and uh, here that point and that point so now what we'll do we'll do a simple we'll draw a afsce1 okay we'll consider a beam from a step beam from that point to that point i'll just then skip so here is the here is your beam right and now what we'll do actually actually why i have moved that point because uh, if it is in middle then it will not looking so great or good so when it's done now i'll select here and also i'll just come here assign and join the resident i mean i'll provide support so that is our for pin then apply so it is the pin support and click here again select roller then apply so there is a roller so i just simply click ok now when it's, it's done okay when it's done now i'll go for load we'll go for assign load so to assign load simply i'll select that beam after that i'll go assign then from here frame load okay and if you have load and joint then you can take that option and i'll come here frame load then here first of all i'll go for point load okay so how will just apply point load well, actually how distance away you know that in a previous two lecture i have discussed about that option relative distance from and absolute distance from okay so uh, i have discussed about that two option relative distance and absolute distance uh, what is the relative distance and what is the absolute distance actually so in this lecture i don't want to describe about that so if you want to learn about that you have to go to our th uh, third lecture for understand about that perfectly so here uh, i'll select absolute distance okay and absolute distance means how much uh, from end one what is the end one a is the end one every left side is the end one and uh, at how much distance away our point load is so we'll provide 30 newton load at 1 plus uh, 2 plus 1 meter so 3 meter so from uh, the dist uh, distance of that point load is 3 meter from a so i'll just give it at distance 3 meter our load is how newton 30 newton okay and that is global and that is gravity okay and that is also force uh, we'll consider that is dead load we will consider that is dead load and uh, we have to do a little thing i'll just do that in later so that is dead load and here we'll select replace existing load it's done and otherwise you can click here add to existing load so i'll select a replace existing load actually what is it if you click add to existing load that means i mean if i select that that means um, if you have already assigned load then your that load will be added to your previous load at that point but uh, if you select that option and if you have already a load on your structure then it will replace by the new load Are you clear so here when uh, that is okay now we'll just simply click apply just see here here is your point load right and then i'll click okay so our point load is okay now we'll apply our that that two load okay and uh, how we'll just go for it so first of all for the two load again i'll simply select that beam and i'll go assign and here frame load then distributed load okay now that's distributed and then the load direction is gravity direction that force the replace existing okay and here if you load or available from a point to b point i mean if you load or available in whole structure then you can select simply that option uniform load but if you load have a some several portion of your beam or a structure then you have to select 
that option actually from here again I'll select absolute distance now from here actually um, at a when uh, the first point at a I mean at distance 0 0 our load will be 10 Newton per meter so here I'll give 10 and again at distance 2 meter away from a at distance 2 when our distance 2 then our loader also 10 Newton per meter right actually that is the uh, way to assign load so I'm simply click apply uh, sorry just see here uh, actually uh, we have assign load in 3d see I can go control Z and if I select that one actually that is all are okay but if I assign load here then it will be good to visible simply click apply so here a new assign 10 keep uh, time 10 Newton load and now we have to assign another load that is uh, that is starting point is uh, 3 meter 2 plus 1 3 meter from a and uh, the another in point is 5 meter from a that means how uh, assign that load actually uh, sorry at distance 3 our load is 0 okay you have to understand carefully here at distance 3 from a our load is 0 and at distance 5 from a our load is 20 are you clear so I'll just simply come here and at distance uh, 5 our load is 20 is it okay to you then if sorry before that I have to select that beam I mean where I to assign then when it's done then I'll simply click apply just see here here is our new load condition okay so it's done now I'll simply click okay so just see here uh, it's done actually uh, every load are available so if I right click then if I click a load so you'll see here they have three types of load okay they have three types of load that is the point load uh, sorry we have done a mistake because uh, we have forgotten to re, uh, change the point of replace and that load have replaced okay so I'll just cancel this load will be available I'll select here again I'll go assign for first time assign then frame load then distributed load and from here I'll select at 0 a load will be maybe how much that was 10 a load will be 10 and at distance 2 a lead load will be also 10 and that will be added to existing load okay that will be added to existing load because already we have a uh, distributed load in or that frame right so that is okay and after that I'll simply click apply right now see it's available here so I'll just click here okay just see here that is a load and the point load are also available because if we double click uh, sorry if we right click here and if we come here in load you now see here here three load available here is a distributed load one distributed here is the another distributed load and here is the our point force and all force are in dead but we have to do something here before it before uh, go analysis what will do actually we will simply click at define then a load pattern and here our self weight multiplier that is one will make it zero and why will make it zero because I'll simply click modify because if I give here one then when we'll analyze this the self weight of that beam we don't know the weight of beam so the self weight of that beam will automatically calculate it as a dead load then we will be not able to analyze that beam perfectly for our given load I mean for our external load then okay so when it's done then we can go for analysis and uh, from here from analysis we can click a run analysis and from here we'll not select that model and after that I'll click run and I'll save that model simply supported beam 3 okay 
so I'll just save and I'll wait for some time just see here here is our uh, deflection of our beam okay of our deflection of our beam so if I come here then uh, show deflected shape so this is for dead load okay it is automatic and if I apply here so this is the deflection of our frame this is the deflection right and this is the wire shadow this is the beam and that is the deflection actually right and uh, so when it's here and uh, okay uh, it's done then it will go for we can click here show forces or stresses okay we can click here for that the frame we we'll just uh, come here the frame cable or tendon and before that if we need to know display okay if we know that display then show forces then the joint and from here for dead load arrow apply what is the load here actually so this is your reaction load this is a reaction load for our dead load uh, so I'll just close that and after that if I come here display right if I come here for display and here show stresses frame now we'll go for a moment so the force and share two to for <coughs> SFD then apply so this is our SFD player this is the SFD and also show value so this is the SFD shared full diagram and uh, M33 this is for moment so this is your moment diagram I hope it's clear to you that how we'll analysis our model okay so I'll just close it actually and there is a way to analysis our simply supported beam and uh, I hope we have done everything perfectly and in our next lecture I'll just show that how will analysis a frame Sorry. okay in, le in next lecture I'll show you that how will analysis a frame okay uh, by using that step after that we'll go for a truss truss structure uh, how will analysis a truss any kinds of truss and after that we'll go for final a building design and analysis by using SAP 2020 version 20 so thank you thank you very much and uh, if you think that that's helpful for you then please subscribe to our channel and also press the bell icon so that you get every update ever fast so thank you thank you very much for staying with me at that time and I hope you have already subscribed to our channel and if you did end it please subscribe to our channel so thank you thank you very much